Oh yeah. You may recall on my other channel that I did a Parker's Film Tips episode all about green screens. But it really wasn't all about green screens. It didn't explain anything except for that it was a green sheet. And that you needed light. Now the fabric you see behind me is a piece of large felt. Hey, here's my green screen setup. Green fabric behind me. There's a light right here. It's blinding me. There's a light right here, which is blinding me. And this one lights the subject so it's not dark. Like for example, if I turn this off, I am dark, but the screen is light and that doesn't really work. And then here is my hair light. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a ceiling light and it lights the back so that you're separated from the screen. Now that you have your footage in front of you in a green screen, what do you do with it? Well, let's head into the editing room and I'll show you how to key your footage. Hey guys, what's up? I am here in Premiere Pro CS4 and we're gonna make our clip look like this. Nice and smooth. Nice and keyed out. Nice and amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and open a new sequence and a sequence fee, that's fine. And we have our clip and our background. I drag the clip. Go to a clip. The green screen is pretty much average. Um, let's not pick a frame where I look terrible. Be good. Okay, we'll do this. We'll do this clip. And you're gonna want to go on the keying and drag color key, or it's called chroma key, or color key, or whatever it's called. And select, take the eyedropper and select nearest to the hair, which will create a nice bubble around your head. So, so we do not need to touch that anymore. I like to keep it around 50. And then we're gonna go add another color key. I like to add about two or three, maybe. And then you're gonna select the color using the eyedropper right outside of the key you just did. And looks like we're not done, so we're gonna add another one. You'll notice how the greens are getting darker every time we do another one. I should probably light it more, but I don't have any more lights. Alright, now we're gonna go and feather all of them. One. And now we are going to add our background, so drag this up. And make our background. And there we go! One last step is to crop. Drag crop onto your clip. And I like to crop left. And there you go! Your successfully keyed clip in Premiere Pro.